Kent police constable has been shown the door after he was accused of indecent assault on a female during a trip to Alton Towers during the 15th and 16th of July 2020. PC Thomas Hall, based at Medway Police Station, was said to have engaged in the non-consensual touching of a female deemed to be of a sexual nature whilst staying overnight in a hotel. The misconduct hearing heard how a group attended a trip to the theme park on July 15th and 16th, 2020. On arrival, the party went to the Stepping Stones pub for a drinking session before loading up on more booze at an Audi supermarket for an after-party at the family suite that they had booked. Apparently, several of them played drinking games until shortly after midnight, but during the course of the evening, an argument broke out. This caused the woman, whose name was withheld to protect her identity, to become upset. PC Hall attempted to comfort her and offered to escort her back to her own room. A police constable taking advantage of a vulnerable woman yet again. She said she was comfortable in the company of PC Hall and both agreed there had not been any sexual contact before between them. Hall, who was engaged at the time, admitted to engaging in cuddling and spooning with the female in an effort to make her feel better. However, it seems Hall got a bit carried away and misread the situation. After all, this was simply a friend and he was engaged to be married, so it makes sense he would misread the situation and start playing with her bristles. Her bazookas. Her melons. I'm trying not to get demonetized here. The woman said, After we had gone to bed, I woke up to PC Hall running his hands over me and touching my thripney bits. That's not the word she used, by the way. She said she didn't react or protest as she was scared and in shock as to what happened. She then described her hands tucking itself into her kex and claimed she did not consent to the touching. The next day she told someone what had happened and they asked her if she wanted to file a complaint. PC Hall had only been in the force for 18 months at that time and denied the allegations. Hall said, I took my jeans off and got into bed. She went into the bathroom and then joined me. We just spoke about her home life, there was no sexual conversation at all. Hall told the hearing the conversation consisted mainly of idle chit chat but they also discussed problems the woman was experiencing. The conversation was said to have lasted around an hour before the pair went to sleep, where they engaged in some spooning. Hall added, it felt like the appropriate thing to do to comfort her, there was no sexual intent or motivation whatsoever. Looking back it was the wrong thing to do but at the time I thought it was the right thing. Barrister Nicholas Yeo, acting for PC Hall, said the woman's recollection had been a vague, imagined account riddled with inconsistencies which had been dreamed up while in a sleepy, tipsy state. But fellow barrister Simon Walsh said for the woman it was not a dream but a living nightmare. He put it to PC Hall that he had overstepped the mark and had only attempted to redress for his actions when the woman became evasive and jittery the next day. The panel found that on the balance of probabilities, the events, as described by the woman, did take place. In reaching its conclusion, the panel said it was greatly concerned by PC Hall's actions whilst off duty and also took into account his continued denial of the allegation, which he dismissed as a made-up dream as indicating his lack of remorse. It concluded, therefore, that PC Hall's actions had amounted to gross misconduct and therefore warranted his immediate dismissal without notice. The panel said that this was the only satisfactory course of action to maintain public confidence in the police. Detective Superintendent John Phillips from Kent Police's Professional Standards Department said, Hall's behaviour was completely inappropriate and demonstrated a serious lack of respect and decency. His conduct seriously undermines the trust the public can have. Do you know what? There's absolutely no point in repeating the same old word salad these statements make. We all know it's written by the forces PR department and the person reading it doesn't mean anything they say. So it almost becomes a waste of time repeating. But needless to say, you won't be disappointed that I don't continue with that particular statement. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.